Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the 8th episode of Girly Air Force. Last episode, we kind of, you know, dealt with Phantom, we had a little mock battle, and we won, and it was great, and uh, yeah, it was it was good stuff, and we ended off on a operation, and I think Eagle went to go do our own thing, and now we have Greepin and Phantom working together on our main objective, what we kind of came here for, so yeah, let's see how all that goes. 3, 2, 1, play. Already blowing stuff up. Well, the people are firing. Oh no. Probably a good idea. Just shoot stuff. Boom, like that. Nice shot. I, I hope so. Above. Fire. And boom. Okay, good job. Another one down. Yeah. <laughs> as long as we're getting results, that's what matters. No time for pride. It's time to blow up enemies, and there's a lot of them, so. Yeah, try to evade them if you can. Boom. Ah, uh, it's such a nasty attack. I mean, the enemy's getting damaged. <laughs> Boom. Third wave, come on. How many are there? Oh, Barbie 4. Oh, oh, yeah, that one. Oh, yeah, they talked about that last episode. I forgot about that. Who's piloting that, though? Well, there we go. Some damage has been done. Yeah, Viper Zero. <laughs> That's the takeaway from that. Huh. Okay, that was interesting. Well, yeah, let's continue. We will protect you. Do not worry. <laughs> wow. I guess so. Survivors of the Seventh Fleet, so we're kind of uh, checking in on Eagle, I think. Ishigaki Island. Boom. I do want to check in on Eagle, though. I do want her to be at least, you know, relevant, but clearly not yet. Because it's a shame that she's off doing something else while we're focused on this. That was a good hit right there. Is it? Okay, so we just get a quick comment about what Eagle was up to. Okay, good job, guys. Just flying to the sun to blind us. Oh, beach episode. That was a bit abrupt, but I'll take it. 
I bet he is. I I bet he is. Yeah, it's 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 a good day to be sure. I mean, yeah, pretty much anything you could want right there. No, we're we're good. Yeah, I know she was that stacked, I'll be honest. <laughs> well, <laughs> get wrecked. Okay. Oh, well, yeah, you know. <laughs> oh, I will come and get you, all right. <laughs> you make a you make a compelling offer, I'll be honest, but we can't abandon creeping. <laughs> Uh, yeah, again, it's a good offer, but... Wow, she, she looks good in that. Uh, but yeah. Being pretty bold there, but... I kind of wish the camera was more focused on Greepin and Eagle's interactions there than... than Phantom and K, but... <laughs> because that was far more interesting than whatever they were discussing. Yeah, she doesn't look that busty, you know, wearing that outfit, but yeah, in a swimsuit, man. I mean, Ego, yeah, she always looks that way, but. Whew. Break the blue. I really do like that final bit of the opening right there, where they all just do the little entr entrance into the group. We hardly ever see you when you're being pretty rude, Mingwa. An unhappy top secret, oh. Top, top secret, I, I get what you mean there. Okay. Well, I guess it's hard to hear. Okay. But it might see Mingwa in a swimsuit. What a thing to complain about. I would love to go to Okinawa. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty impressive. So is this what led us to our beach episode? I want to go to the beach with all of my anima girls. <sighs> oh. And I can read all of that, but... It was Mingua text, I got that much. Uh oh. Is that the girl that piloted the... Oh no, that's Mingua. Is it Mingua, though? I mean... 
I don't think I've ever seen a wasteland like that before. Yeah, I don't think that's Mingua. Okay. She hasn't said a word to you, you know. <laughs> Ignored. I don't think that's Mingwa. Mingwa would not just not say anything. She always has something to say, so... I don't think that was Mingwa. Well, this is different from Time to Die. <laughs> You sound so happy. <laughs> so I've heard. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, her mood took a turn. Uh. What is this lover's quarrel? <laughs> it's still a bit of an assumption on your part. It's a reasonable assumption, but an assumption nonetheless. <laughs> uh, wow. Uh, okay, now I feel bad for her. Just want to see a movie with you. <laughs> yes, at least we got a good result from this now. <laughs> okay, so that's what led to that part. It's bouncing all around the timeline, sort of really confused me. That really confused me, but I think I got it, more or less, the order of things. Still don't think that's Mingwa, though. Like, why would she be here? You look like a tomboy. Doesn't even look that much like Mingwa, honestly, now that I get a good look at her. No, no, you're not K, you don't get it. Apparently, she can't talk. She jumped in text with the planes as well. Everyday coffee. <laughs> a biological perspective. Wow, that's a way to phrase it. In other words, she says you do lewd things with her. Confusing this poor girl. She is. Do you not see the texts? Kinda like your phone case. <laughs> that would make sense. Yeah, I just invited to another movie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, she's actually pretty helpful. You know, I like this girl a lot considering she's not said a reward technically. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Very true. I guess that's her main concern. No, she was never Mingua. I don't know why you think she is. She doesn't even look that similar. And that's only one reason to not suspect her. Oh. 
Did you disappear? I want to see them side by side in the same shop, but I don't to make sure, but I don't think they look that much alike. Especially with the eyes, I think that was different. Well, this will be awkward. Jesus. Scare the crap out of me. Yeah, she definitely does look different enough to wear. Uh, I can't believe how much she made me jump there, seriously. A 32 seconds long conversation. What's going on? As you saw a random person assumed it was Mingwa. Even though she told you she wasn't, you still thought she was Mingwa. Yeah, she was still at home. We had to the pilot of the... of the perverts. She definitely was dressed nicely. Yes. <laughs> Wasn't that hard to figure out. I figured out literally the first moment she was on screen. <laughs> but that's a curious thing. Oh, so it looks like what you want it to look like, sort of. Okay, that's what I meant to say. I, I didn't phrase it right, but that's what I was getting at. Because I did kind of suspect that. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. I like a mirror. Oh well, yeah, she clearly didn't have her personality. Because <laughs> he feels bad for keep screwing over Mingwa. <laughs> we are a pretty childhood friend. I mean, yeah, we just live together, you know, that's it. You just go to a movie with a poor girl. <laughs> wow. Better response than I expected. Now I'm curious what everyone will see when they look at her. Someday, just not today. The Daima. Looking cute as always, Mingwa. Don't yell at me, please. <laughs> oh no, unforgivable. That was a weird phone call. At least he called you. How to explain? Okay. That's what I'm talking about. That's a much better welcome home. And yeah, Mingo's not, not so bad. When you get to her good side. But you would probably see more of a K didn't keep screwing her over.
Aww. That was cute. <laughs> so that blush is great. Here we go. Taking the advice to heart. There we go. Many dense anime protagonists could learn a thing or two from you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think she wants to. <laughs> Those eyes full of determination. <laughs> Gotta play it off. <laughs> and she's just being really cute in this scene overall. <laughs> Then your double ganger taught me some stuff and I made it right. <laughs> yeah, that was uncalled for. I can't handle these looks. Oh, <laughs> the food. Well, you distracted her. The dress. You know, where she's in a good mood, let's not let's not bring her down. Come on, Kay. I take back my praise for you. Uh she did look like a Tom Boy in the one flashback, but still some things you shouldn't say, dude. Especially when you had a good mood going. I know, right? <laughs> well, that's your fault. That's completely your fault. Ah, uh, Mingwa, what do you see in this man? Oh? Who's this? You know... I thought we'd only get like three main girls based on the opening in ED, and yet let's, let's, let's keep getting more. Because I think that person at the end was a girl. It's hard to tell in anime sometimes, especially at night with like a five second clip of them, but I usually assume new characters are girls in this sort of show. Like new important characters, I should clarify. Okay, that was the eighth episode of Girly Air Force. And this episode, we, well, we finished off our operation, which was successful thanks to Viper Zero. Lending a hand, you know, was pretty, very much appreciated. And then we bounced, we bounced over pretty quickly to just the beach episode, which was a little bit abrupt. It was a very short beach episode, of course. I don't know why I call it beach episode. It was like, it was a beach scene, basically, but I'm just used to the overall phrase beach episode. You know, it's whatever. But yeah, that was good though. We got to see them in swimsuits and it was it was good. We had a nice little conversation between K and Phantom about whatever. I don't remember exactly what it was about. I think it was about Anima and their role with humans or something, but yeah. Uh then the big thing was we met this girl. That's well you can't see him her right now, but this girl wearing a very nice frilly outfit that K mistook for Mingwa. You know. And I guess, I guess she looks enough like Mingwa for there to be a misunderstanding, but I don't know. For some reason, for me, it didn't look that similar. I'm going to try to get them side by side here so I can actually do a side by side comparison on my end. Okay, let's see. Let's 
see. I mean, yeah, the, uh, I got their faces here. Well, the one's in a dark alley, so it's a little bit different, but okay. I don't know, just the eyes do look a little bit different, like a little bit darker, but again, just because she's in a dark alley and that shot. But uh, also, we have the middle of the hair curving this way on her, curving a little bit this way on here, so I guess the differences are definitely minor, I guess, but I don't know, just... <laughs> I can't really point out why they look different, but just characters feel different to me. To the point where just the point is, I never for one second believed that was Mingwa. That's kind of my point. But anyway, K did. So K, after having a bit of a fight with Mingwa, was just like, "Hey, Mingwa, what are you doing here? It's like you teleported to Okinawa in a frilly dress and wandering around and ignoring me. But you're definitely Mingwa, in spite of all that. But yeah, there was plenty of reasons to not believe that was Mingwa. So even if it looks, she looks similar." You know, he should still be a bit more skeptical of that, uh, you know. But uh, she was nice enough to help him with his problems, though. She was giving him advice through the, the phone. So I guess she can't actually talk, which is a bit unfortunate because I'm sure she'd have a nice voice, you know. I probably, if she could talk. But yeah, the plot, the uh, actual timeline of the episode was bouncing around a lot because we had, we finished off our operation, then we immediately went to the the beach shenanigans and like very abruptly like I, a little bit jarring and then we got the explanation about how i went to okinawa for the because the one mistake or whatever to deal with that so i guess you could imply that it was right after that whole conversation that they did the beach episode and then moved over to the mingwa mingwa stuff i just i i guess i the only way for that really makes sense to me but yeah, luckily she was willing to help him out with his Mingo problem. Say, hey, you know, she cl clearly just wanted to spend time with you. The, the particular movie itself, that, that, that didn't matter. That wasn't the point. She just wanted to do something with you alone. And she thought you wanted to, too. So she was looking forward to it and planning for it. And you just kind of like, oh, I did it myself, you know. Uh, if you want to do it, go do, do it by yourself, you know. I, I don't care. You know, because he's clearly a kind of a, a dense protagonist, you know, for not getting what the issue was there. Because, obviously, Mingwa is a soon direct character. She haven't really been subtle about that. But, uh, yeah, I don't think he fully gets her feelings for him. Typical of a dense anime parent protagonist. But, yeah, he did He did take the advice, though, to get tickets, move tickets and stuff, which is good. Because that led to a nice scene of the two of them, you know, where she actually got to see some of that data from her soon direct here. And she's like, oh, well, I mean, it's just if you want to do that, I I, I guess I could. Okay, you know, just was, she was really cute in that scene. I love that a lot. Just it was some good, some good stuff there. But of course, K, he didn't come up with that plan on his own. So it's pretty, it's understandable that things would fall apart once he got past that stage and he had to have like a follow up to it. You know, the follow up of not ruining it, but he couldn't manage that simple task of not ruining it. So, yeah, it did not end as well as it could have. Really, it was funny though. It was definitely funny, and we did get the reveal about the other uh, the character. Like the second I saw that character, I knew that she was the the pilot of the 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 fat of the phantom, the the Viper Zero. You know, the pervert. Like I figured that out immediately. Then he said Mingwa. I was like, what? Hey, what? And then I was like, oh, I, I guess she does kind of like Mingwa. Is she Mingwa? I don't I don't think she's Mingwa. I mean, she's definitely not acting like Mingwa, but he seems to think she is. So. If she's not Mingwa, then why does she look so much like Mingwa? That's basically what my thought pattern was within within the span of like five seconds after he said her name. But uh, yeah, just it was clearly a misunderstanding. But eventually he got the explanation that she just looks like however you want her to look like. You know, whatever's on your mind, you just kind of project it onto her. And for him, that was Mingwa because they're big fights. So yeah, because of that, I want to see, like, what does she look like to Gripen? What does she look like to Ego? What does she look like to Phantom? Do they all look, does she just look like Kay in all those instances, you know? I'm curious about that, for sure. But, uh... It was a really nice dress, though. That frilly dress she wore was good. I don't care what Kay says, you know, I, I could see Mingwa wearing that. She looked very, very nice. Oh, uh, great, I, cr I crashed it. I mean, that usually happens, but... Anyway, yeah, it was a pretty... It was a decent episode, I would say. You know, the, the timeline jumping around was kind of jarring, you know. Uh, I forgot to mention the other timeline thingy was when she told him to die, like, out of nowhere, and then we 
you know, after a little bit after that, we saw what led up to the hearse telling him to die. So just really weird. I was bouncing around, like, cause I thought it was the opposite at first. Like, oh, he went from telling him to die, and now he just seems pretty happy. So I guess, I guess we've gotten over that. And it's like, no, that was just a prequel to the die thing. It just it was very weird. I don't know, but it was still a pretty good episode overall. We're learning, we're meeting new characters. I'm definitely, I definitely like that character, that new one. She seemed like a very nice person. You know, she was helping him despite. You know, the clear misunderstanding there. She was still doing his, her best to, to help him with the issue. And stuff like that. But, uh, yeah. I, I, overall, I'd say it was, a, it was a decent episode. Thank you for watching. And a special thanks to Snokey for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment. Because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon. And get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.